A very good morning to everyone. I'm Tishalini Mahandra from 5KK from SMK Abdul Rahman Talib, Kuantan, Pahang. And today I will be explaining about hydraulic brake system in bicycle and motorcycle. Well, before I explain about hydraulic brake system in bicycle and motorcycle, a lot might be wondering what is hydraulic brake system? Well, hydraulic brake system it acts as a force multiplier. Hydraulic brake system is a braking mechanism that uses brake fluid to transmit force into the system. The fluid transfers pressure from the control mechanism to the braking mechanism. Now moving on to type of hydraulic brake system in bicycle, there are two types of hydraulic brake. One is the mechanical brake, two is the hydraulic brake. In mechanical brake, the mechanical disc brakes are cable actuated relying on a cable attached to the brake levels to activate the braking. In hydraulic brake, it uses hydraulic fluid in a fully sealed line when you brake. It increases the pressure that is applied to the caliper, which presses the pads against the disc brake. Well, since I have explained type of hydraulic brake system in bicycle, let me explain about the one in motorcycles. In motorcycle, they have two types of hydraulic brake. One is disc brake and another one is drum brakes. In disc brakes, the disc brake system consists of a rotor or disc fitted on the wheel and caliper with pads on either side. These systems become complete with a fluid line which comes from the oil reservoir. The oil reservoir is connected to the pump which is the brake level. In drum brakes, the drum brakes has a primary function, namely as the medium for friction with the brake pads for the purpose that the wheel will stop on the road. This component is also directly connected to the wheel bolt so that the drum will rotate following the wheel bolt. Well, now that I have explained about type of hydraulic brake system in bicycle and motorcycle, I'm pretty sure everyone wondering right now how actually this hydraulic brake system works in bicycle and motorcycle. Now, that is why I am here today to explain it to you. Firstly, the master cylinder. The master cylinder is engaged by a cable or a lever which causes a piston to apply pressure to the brake fluid. Now the brake lines will carry the pressure from one piston in the brake caliper to another because the brake fluid cannot be compressed. So the brake pads are now under pressure from the calipers. Therefore, the resultant squishing of the brake pads bring them in contact with the rotors which is linked to the wheel. Now the rotor and the pad's friction with one another will cause heat to be produced, which will slow down the motorcycle and bicycle down. So this is how the braking system actually works. Now let's look into the specification of parts in the hydraulic brake system in bicycle. Number one, we have the lever. The lever is used to keep the bicycle up and together. The lever also is the handle of the bicycle act as class 1 level. Secondly, we have the ridge adjustment screw. If the screw is turned, the lever will move closer to the handlebar grip. Thirdly, we have the reservoir. Reservoir is used to hold system hydraulic fluid in a convenient location for the pump inlet. It also holds excess fluid needed when the hydraulic system is in operation. Fourthly, we have the hydraulic hose. This hydraulic hose will allow fluid to flow from one component to another. Next, for the motorcycle, we have the caliper. The caliper it clamps the pads against the brake rotors and slow down the motorcycle. Secondly, we have the brake pads. The brake pads apply pressure to the rotor which is directly connected to each wheel. This pressure creates the friction needed to slow or stop the vehicle. Thirdly, we have the brake lines. The brake line it transmits the hydraulic pressure to the wheel cylinder and brake calipers. Fourthly, we have the master cylinder. The master cylinder it pushes the brake fluid into the slip cylinder, which is the caliper. Fifth, we have the brake fluid. The brake fluid is used to transfer force into the pressure. Now, for those who are watching this video right now, I'm pretty sure you guys must be wondering what is the point of using hydraulic brake system? Is there even a benefit of using hydraulic brake system? Well, guess what? There is benefit of using hydraulic brake system. Firstly, 
Hydraulic brake system it works efficiently and rarely fails. Other than that, it provides more braking power because they have greater contact area which supports heat dissipation. Thirdly, it is also reliable at high speeds. Fourthly, the hydraulic brake system it works better compared to mechanical brakes in wet and muddy conditions. So, if you were thinking that using a hydraulic brake system has no benefit, then you were wrong. Because using a hydraulic brake system is much more better and makes everyone's life easier. Now, as an extra information for everyone, I would like to also explain about the anti-lock braking system, which is also known as ABS. ABS uses speed sensors on both wheels to accurately determine wheel speed, as well as sensors to determine when a wheel is about to lock. ABS adjusts the braking pressure accordingly to prevent the wheel from locking and exceeds with maintaining the stability of the motorcycle. And that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching this video until the end. And if my video is got selected, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Chegu Ana Aja Physic YouTube channel. And that's all from me. Thank you.